How's it going? It's 220 Prepper and I got a video today. So today I'm going to do a full review on the Tacticon Battle Torch. I don't remember if this is version one, two, three, whatever. So here we go. Before anybody says, magazine is out. Weapon is clear and safe. So onto the battle torch. So I wanted to find a budget entry level weapon mounted light. Coming came across good buddies at Tacticon. If you can see that. Yes. So this was forty some odd dollars. I don't remember how much off the top of my head. Um so I was like, okay, well that's budget. That's very much so budget. Let's see if it's any good. So I got it. It came with a little goodie bag. Uh, just watch the unboxing video I did last month. So this is not a very large light. And it'll fit your standard Picatinny rails that I have. This is a Canic TP9. Um, it's a 400 lumen light. So I'm gonna turn light on strobe warning in a second. So as you can see, I'm not pointing directly at it. That's a very bright light. And also strobe feature. So, quick pros and cons of this list. Pro, it's budget. Pro, it works. It's a very good, bright flashlight. Cons, one of the biggest cons that I have with this light is actually another pro, the strobe light. I like the strobe light effect. It's very disorienting, especially at night, home defense gun. Strobe, it'll blind anybody. But my problem is there's no way to choose the strobe so the way the light works activate it once and it's on push it again strobe then it's off and that's it so if you're doing like a night training course for your handguns a lot of times what they'll do is you light on as you raise your gun light on shoot shoot light off down that's what a few quite a few instructors have but the problem is go up light on shoot shoot strobe light off and I don't like that I don't like the fact that I have no choice as to when to activate the strobe I hate that there's a big big con for me it is so my next con is Tacticon is a small company it is veteran owned which I like but there's no aftermarket so to speak I haven't found a holster a kydex holster that will fit this light I do have a universal hold, drop leg holster on my budget battle belt, which I might do another uh, video, video on soon. So it will fit in that. But as far as like a concealed carry or even an open carry with just, you know, my light on, I haven't found a Kydex that will fit this yet. I'm working on it. I'm not there yet. Um, oh, the other pro is I do like the strobe. This is a 400 lumen light. So again, it's, you know, nice and bright. I'm not pointing directly, there's nobody over there, whatever. It's nice and bright. That strobe is very uh, disorienting. It, it is, there's no other way to describe it. But the fact that I can't, I cannot ch choose when to turn it on is very upsetting to me. So here's my other cons with this light. It takes two hours, it says it takes an estimated of two hours to charge. I, mine charges in about an hour 30, hour 40 minutes. That's not bad. It says it has a 60 minute run time. That's average, that's decent, but I did not run it for 60 minutes straight. The problem is after about 10 minutes or so, the light started to heat up. Now it wasn't like, oh my God, this is like burning hot, but it was definitely like getting warm. It was definitely like getting hot. I don't like that. But then again, that was 10 minutes of it being continually on. I don't know why you would ever need to run a weapon light for more than 10 minutes, but I, I just don't, once it starts getting hot, any flashlight at all, once it starts getting hot, that's it, I'm shutting it off. So you could probably have it on and off for that 60 minutes before it dies, quite possibly, but again, 10 minutes and then it starts to heat up and I, I don't like that. Um, I'm gonna be petty about my next point it's that, like I said, I got mine to charge about an hour, 30, hour, 40 minutes. My problem is 
after about the 30 to 40 minute mark, it was at 75%, which means it took almost an hour just for that last thing to go. Now, one more thing I like about this that's actually good is when you have the light on, these lights right here, oh, I gotta charge it again. These lights right here indicate your charge and it does flash when it's uh, charging. Oh, went too far back. So I do like that and it is a good thing. But, <clears throat> you know, that's just the whole charging time thing, that's just me being nitpicky. I do like that, it, that the battery in here is rechargeable. I don't have to like sit here and put new batteries in all the time. I can just charge it. Um, it is a magnetic charger. So if I have it on the charger and all of a sudden there's a bump in, a bump in the night or whatever at my house, I could just immediately grab it and it'll just fall off. And I do want to say this. The reason I, I was about to mention the strobe light again, the reason why it's an issue is because it, this is actually a true story. I thought I needed to use my gun in a home defense situation. I was, it was like 12 o'clock at night. I'm sitting here watching movies on my phone. Nobody other than me in my house is awake. All of a sudden I hear something fall. I did what anybody else would do. I grabbed my gun and I went to go find out what was happening. Come to find out something was suction cup to the wall and it fell off. And that was what I heard. But the problem is I had the weapon light. I mean, I have, you know, I have my weapon. So my wife who woke up when I opened the door, you know, going through the house with my light on, my wife being half asleep, that's what, you know, you're immediately going to do. Like, going to see next thing. No. I don't like that. I I don't like the fact that I don't have a choice on the stroke. It, it bothers me. It I mean, it would bother a lot of people, but it really, really bothers me. And it's not enough for me to say don't get this light, but it is something that you need to be prepared for. Now, I think this is like the V1 or V2. Hopefully... If Tacticon comes out with a new one, uh, again, it might be, even be the V3. I'll put it in the description below. But, you know, hopefully they'll come out with a new one and you'll you'll be able to, like, dictate when the strobe comes on, you know, press and hold for two seconds for the strobe light or something like that. Um. Oh, one more thing about this is the activation. So when you get your grip here, that button right there is the actual, like, that's the, the button to turn it on. There's some lights that are, you go right here, you could just push right there. This one, you have to actually go right there. That's not a con for me, but for someone with smaller hands, maybe it could be. But either way, all in all, this light, I like it. I would recommend it. I've given it about a month of testing so far. I mean, it's, it's good for a... I mean, you're getting, you're getting what you're paying for. It's a basic, basic flashlight that goes on your firearm, $40, $45, something like that. It's not really much you could complain about. It's hand screwed in. As you can see, you got the screws right here. This does actually come with three of these, but I only put in two. Um, I had a little bit of an issue putting them on here, but it was not bad. It just took a little bit longer than I thought. Again, it only it still only took me like two minutes or so, so I would definitely say that's good. But I would recommend it. It's good. It works. And again, this is after only a month of testing. I still need. It's a flashlight. Like I'm not gonna sit here and throw it around. It stays in my holster. You know, whenever I have to draw it, I draw it. But I mean, it's not a whole lot of testing that I need to do with that. I'm not gonna throw it down a flight of stairs or anything. But in the meantime, this is 220 Prepper. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am signing off.